All right, we go again. That was a huge raid. Very simple, but huge raid. Every raid, we're getting just that little bit extra stuff, you know? Like, for example, on customs, we got a couple of SVD kills. Um, we got a shootable in heaven task done. Oh, sorry, kill on woods. We got the Sturman task done. You know, like lighthouse, we got um, a shooter born kill. We got the vertex. It's all just little bit by little we'll get there. Do you have a guide on important quests to complete early or get early access to those looking to rush Kappa? I'd like to try next what? To be, to be completely honest, the only thing that is going to speed you up a lot is having every time you find an item you need for a, for a task, you put it aside. That is literally the only thing that's going to speed you up a lot. So having that memory of, okay, I need three gas analyzers. I need, you know, two vertexes. I need a couple of coftums. Uh, I need three lead X's. Those kind of things are what are going to speed you up a lot. So then when you find one, you make sure you put it aside. Everything else is mostly just go pick stuff up and extract or go kill some stuff. So yeah, that's the thing that's going to speed you up. The quest order of tasks doesn't really change much for you. So what I mean by that is like, you could focus on doing Jaeger first and then go across to like doing a different trader and it won't really make any difference. One thing I do find that works really well is if you've got a map that you really fucking hate, don't do any tasks on that there until you have a lot of tasks and then do them all at the one time. So when you get, say, if you don't like Shoreline, try and make it so you've got like Lenleys, Vitamins, you know, the Peacekeeper quest line and all that, and then go to Shoreline and you'll get like seven tasks done at the same time, like marking all the places and all that. Because then that way, when you do get a good raid in, you get like lots done. Did you guys say there was a vertex down here in a crate? Whereabouts is it? I swear someone said there's a vertex down here. Is it that there? Take the hot rod and drink it. You fucking serious? Oh, you motherfucking scam. That crate there. Or is it this one? I'm going to head this way. I'm going to skip. Oh, I could just run straight up to Chalet, though. Be a bit risky. Wolfie, thanks for the prime. Actually, let's just go Merin and then do, like, Hillside and that. And if we hear, like, a big battle going on at one of the Chalets, we can snipe someone. But this way, at least we can try and get Long Road done. have a peek, see if we can get a long road kill. Doesn't look like any. What was that one? Nope. How do you make paracord in the hideout? What's the barter trade?
wires and tapes, I think. Five blue duffel bags. Yeah, nah. I won't worry about that. No, you're not allowed to scavenge in hardcore. Remember the <laughs> gone of the days where we needed motors? Dude, that was frustrating. I feel like every hardcore series, I learn more and more about um, specific things that... Like, like, I know, like, heaps of places to find motors now, or... I don't know, just like little, little tidbits. I got hidden stashes. There's not many hidden stashes on this map, though. Oh, we meant to check that chalet. I think I picked the quieter time, like the morning time, and it's still not properly daytime yet. I don't believe they spawn on this. I've not seen a single spawn of anything on that chair. really cuts me deep when you guys lie to me. Uh-huh. See? You find roller and stims? Well, other people must be checking it before me. Didn't I find something on this shelf here? I still should be checking old jackets just for the uh Amicon crew. Hey train, how you doing? Nuts! Fucking hates me. No, 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 no. Or just serenity.
Come on. Deliver me the goods. Trigent? I don't know, it's no probably, sorry. Thanks so much for the 19 months. me. Should I check the car by the water? The only issue I ever go into the water is it's literally the only spawn over there and I'm running all that risk. One spawn. Other room upstairs or on the bench. I've, I have not seen anything on that bench in so long. Chewy, thanks for your 11 months. Check the trash can in that room. Whereabouts? You didn't check the stack of books on floor in Hillside House. Found a vertex there. There was not even scavs in this raid. I didn't even shoot a scav. I didn't shoot a player. It was a completely dead raid. Double UTF, mate. Mm. Like, there weren't even scavs here. I did get shot by a scav, so right at the very beginning. The servers are the best. Hey, for three months since my sub price is going up in by a dollar in three in fifteen days. Bruh. So like I said, when the bosses are there, the, the servers goes nuts. But when there's no no boss, I feel like like people just leave the raid. Like if they're farming goons, for example, they'll just like instantly leave. They need that lag thing to go. They really do need to get rid of it. As handy as it is when you're farming. You should have seen the customs train. I went like a raid where it was completely empty. Most of them were a little bit a little bit busy. But the raid that Rashala spawned, it was like World War Three had just broken out and it was the last survival. Like it was just nuts. If they remove the lag pest, do we then train will have to do a full raid? Yep. You know what they should just do? It's a simple fix. Just get rid of the packet loss issue. It is symbol. Just literally get rid of the packet loss symbol. Then people won't know if they actually had a bit of a lag spike or it was just, you know, a classic Counter-Strike dev fix. Half the ping value, no one will notice. Where did I see that in a video? Yeah, so people were complaining that the, um, that the patch in Counter-Strike was the worst patch they'd ever experienced and the hit reg and the lag and everything, right? And so then they did a follow-up patch like a month later 
And what they did was they artificially made everyone's ping half of what it was meant to be. And um, or like 20 lower than it was meant to be or something. I can't remember how they did it, but everyone was saying it was the best patch they ever did. And they didn't change anything with hit reg or anything. They just literally just made a fake, make it, made everyone's ping like half. Literally pl placeboed them. This is the one. We're going to get a Tarkov shooter kill, a shooter born in heaven kill, and we're going to find the vertex. Get ready. Buckle in. Marin. Maybe even a long road kill. Imagine if Marin had it. The stress in trying to run out of this raid straight up. Game fucking hates me. Wait. That's just the close button. Give me a scav on the road. So at least I have some sort of progression. This map wants me to freaking claw my eyeballs out sometimes, I swear to god. Get up the freaking rock! How hard is it to climb up a rock? Trained military fucking soldier right here! Climb the rock, sir! I would have destroyed this guy, fucking. in the army. Are you this fucking pathetic? Get up the fucking hill. Who's gonna carry the boats? Oh, we find, found an item there finally. So dead, they heard us coming up. I heard some random dude screaming at a rock. Chimera, thanks for the 47 months.
Don't shoot at me, Scan. Put it away. Shut up. Apparently they can spawn in duffel bags, so let's check duffel bags. Oh. What was that audio? Why is it that there's no scavs that spawn along here anymore? If we don't find anything in hillside, I'm I'm gonna go. That'd be the scav from before. What bookshelf did I miss? Well, pile of books, that one. Did I miss any other spawns last time? Have I missed any spawns? Okay. Don't rage pestily, don't rage pestily, don't rage pestily, don't rage. Right, body armors. I don't need shotguns. Trooper? I suppose. Not, not that good, but better than nothing. What, 
rig do I want to use? I switch to that. Cool. That'll do, pig. That'll do. We're pretty much out of meds now again. Like for uh, pain kills and that. Five. Just don't get hit. Let me shaft someone. Full shaft. Right now. Come on. Three, third time's a charm. Let me shaft him. Come on! Please! You give me the shitty spawn, let me shaft someone. Let someone become the shaftee. And I'm the shafterer. And then they'll be shafted. The kid job hates me. Luma, next for three months. Hello. Extra protection thanks to the uh, 10 months. Give me a vertex right now. Guess not. Extra protection. Viper man, thanks for two months. Let's do it. This scout had armor. He had a face mask. Don't want to extract. But that's a decent little bit of kit there. So apparently there's a rubbish bin in here I should be checking. Where's the rubbish bin that I should be checking? What rubbish bin? Third room. Vertex. There used to be a Bitcoin spawn up on the table. I know this makes a lot of noise and it's very um, distinguished to a certain spot. But it gives you so much more protection getting out.
Is that Hagar, man? Not stopping until I check all the spawns. I'll try and get long road done or something. Hey mate, Eggy, how you doing dude? Thanks for tier 2 for 46 months. How much longer do I plan to stream for? Uh, a few more years. To at least 1.0. Thanks so much for the uh, tier 2 for 40, 46 months. Man, that's a very long time. I'm gonna die here. I think I am. I'm hopeful that 1.0 comes out this year, at the end of the year. in a really shitty spot. The dude on a hill had a mosin. That's at me or not? If 
If I didn't have the PU sight, I would have killed that guy just before. But it's so hard to, like... Like, quick zoom someone, you know? <laughs> second floor. Oh, man, there's a second guy. They can't have been the same guys that were up. The same guys on the hill. Fuck me. I thought it was just one guy. Definitely a different guy. He had an SVD. He was like full sweat lord. Mosins are just no good for sniping. I'm putting it out there. They're just no good. Horrible ergonomics and they just fucking, at least with a PU site, it's nearly impossible. They're good for factory. They're good for factory. But I have to find my snipers. Like, I don't really have much choice. What's our other option? Go back to farming Rashala for a little bit. I don't think we have any SV98s. We could barter trade one probably. I want something with a variable. Cool. Let's do it. It's better actually doing it this way. We're gonna find a vertex, or we're gonna get a shoot them on kill, or we're gonna get a Tarkov shooter kill, or we're gonna get long road kills. All right? This is the raid. I'm sick of saying that. And if we don't, I ban one of you. If we don't get at least progression on one of those tasks, someone in chat is getting banned. Just to up the stakes a little. Only one and say. The rubbish bin you say. Hey? That that used to be a Bitcoin spawn, but I never saw like for wipes I haven't seen anything decent spawn there. That scat's gonna kill me. So glad I'm using my BTMO on these scabs. Why does there have to be seven fucking scabs here? Huge, huge. This scavenger's ready for business.
Why can't all those guys be down here for long road? Why do they have to be up there? Someone just shot in that direction. That was just on the low ground there. Fuck, I hate this game sometimes. Making sure I don't get bit in the ass for trying to sh kill this guy. <sighs> Thank you. Taco. Only three tournaments, one of them all. Undefeated. Feeling like I hear something in this direction. Like the weapon ADS noise or something. I reckon this dude here was killing some stuff with the M1A. Definitely heard something then, like a footstep.
Just want to hit someone out. Is there seriously no scans for long road ever? Born after 22 minutes. This one. Magnum, thanks for two months. Let's go check Marin. That's a debate. I go to him, he I died of died of the uh AGS. Where did that scav go? You're getting agitated. Zolis, thanks for the prime. Look at that. You know what I think it is? Later in the wipe, like now, yes, there is less people playing, but I think a lot more people run suppressed. So that's when you, when the, the boss is up, all the players run to where the boss is, and then you hear the boss shooting and grenades going off and all that. 
But when there's no boss up, most people just like try and run through the map because they're, you know, doing their boss farming and all that. And because it's suppressed, they might kill a couple of scabs and all that. But ultimately, you don't really hear much of them. They're not throwing grenades and stuff. I'm literally going up here so I can try and do long road. Fuck off, you run off. Oh, time for me to die. All right, no one gets banned. PMC. That looked really clean, that shot. I think I got him. But I guarantee it doesn't count to Taco Shooter. Nope, wasn't 80 meters. Why does it have to be so foggy? This guy had two guns on him and a pilgrim. Red flare. I 
think this is all AP ammo. Wow, that's a... Fuck, what do we do about this? I want to... I, I might go watch this airdrop come back in. I'll come in and then I'll come back for this and then head out. Because this is too good a loot to leave behind. I'll just bring that with me. Switch this around. Oh god. Aim pest. If you keep aiming like this, I swear I'll leave. Fuck. That's so far away down the road. Across the road, we try and go up on the hill, I think. I think it's our only chance. Otherwise, they're going to be gone before we can shoot them. done <sighs> finally that task is done all right do we go loot them i think we do left. Risk your three parent children? I'm too worried about that bit. Right about players camping it. It's gonna be a big raid if we do everything I want to do. The objective would be to loot this and then head back to the other body and head out from there. If there were players on this side of the map, they would have killed that scav. For sure. So our biggest risk now is another player scav. It's a weapon crate.
All right. Any parts for Gunsmith? Point them out, chat. Yeah, we need the Vector 16 barrel. That'd be huge. I don't think we're going to find it, though. Love you too, son. All right. War comp? This is handy. That's a, that's a, what's that for? Saga 9. Don't. Uh, SVT would be nice to take. If we drink that. We think we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Anything else that I need? The QDC. Why does I want to make it huge? There we go. It's another sniper. If we get rid of the parrots, I don't think we need this. So the way we do it is something like this. Just need to get rid of one item. Probably the dog tag at this point. I don't think we actually need that. So let's get rid of that. Okay. That shouldn't put us too heavy. The egg. Does it do a barter trade? What do we sell eggs? Plates for a bastion. Oh, we drop that. We have to get rid of an item. Um, Mags in. Where ES lamp can go. I want the gold chains because I want to do a money case. Wait, wait a little bit, but that adds up. SVT is really good for killing killer, so I, I want to hold on to that if I can. Alright, we're regening now. Cool. Take something out. I, I don't have anything to reload with anyway, mate. So, look, I could... For you, I'll do this, but... It makes no difference. Nah. I don't think you can put the suppressor on the RFB. Because you need a different thread.
It's going to be a bit of a run back to the uh, to the extract, but it'll be worth it. I'm probably going to drop the RFB when we get back over there. Maybe take the uh, the MPX. I'm pretty much just carrying the RFB because if I run into a scav, I don't want to be dicking around trying to fight him. We could actually make a... Right now we're heavy. We, I think we, we should be able to get two of these in. No, we'll have to drop something. Oh, I could drop the RFB. Happened to me, I had to put the mags in the inventory to get the last round out of the mags. Now I just gotta hope that the guy on the AGS is dead because I'm gonna have to run across the road. If we drop RFB, put SVT on, go like that, drop that, put that in there, we can unload the mag. I don't know if this, is eight minutes going to be enough to run out? So we'll find out. It's going to be a heavy boy though. Guess we're about to find out. I think this might be a bit too much. Right, we're gonna have to drop something.
Don't need the parrot. Take the plates out of rigs. I can't just buy plates though. Piranhas are heavy. Actually, technically, I'm not going to use many shotguns from here. It's all well, well and good to take, take out plates, but I don't honestly have um, any way to just buy new plates, so... Really that simple. I actually kind of feel like if I just kept walking, I'd make it out. So, should be fine with this loadout. Lion, thanks so much for the uh, 14 months. I am highlighted. Perhaps I am as well. And so I. Oh shit, I'm glowing. Am I going to die? Hello? Jacob, thanks so much for the 23 months. I think I might get another item case after this. Keep the time. Probably go back and get the other armor if I really wanted to. Very, very, very long raid, but big success. <sighs> long road is done. Another task done. No one got banned. And I've got a custard balloon to celebrate, eh?